Let's dive right back into the market, guys. BTC 47.4 looking juicy. Whole market's looking juicy, guys. Look at all the juice. We're dripping here. We are dripping. Looking good. Everything's looking good. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let's have a look at what's going on with Gare Bear, a.k.a. Scary Gary, a.k.a. Elizabeth Warren's puppet. Let's have a look. SEC Dilemma. Crypto token classified both class, classified as both security and non-security. Recently renowned pro-crypto attorney James Murphy, a.k.a. Metal Lawman, weighed in on, on the U.S. regulators' inconsistency in clarifying crypto assets as securities. Specifically, Murphy highlighted recent court hearings wherein the Securities and Exchange Commission legal counsel presented conflicting arguments. The first cited instance was a January 17th hearing in a lawsuit against the U.S.-based exchange Coinbase. During the proceedings... The court sought clarification from the SEC on whether some 13 tokens in contention were themselves securities at their initial in in issuance. In response, the SEC's lawyers said, yes, your honor, affirming the tokens were securities. However, in the same court session, the SEC lawyer added, the tokens itself is not a security. <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, guys. Here's the right from the court. Uh, the question. You're saying that as these 12 or 13 tokens, uh, as, so, sorry, you, you're you saying that as to these 12 or 13 tokens, when they were initially issued, these tokens were themselves securities. Mr. Costello's response, SEC lawyer. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Costello, yes, Your Honor, but let me be let me clarify the, the court, please. Mr. Costello again. The token itself is not the security. So the token is the security, but the token itself is not the security. <laughs> oh man, SEC and Coinbase hearing. <laughs> Furthermore, Attorney Murphy cited a second issuance uh, in the hearing. Uh, concerning the suit so guys unbelievable these lawyers right but we got a little more for you here report as per reported by charles gasparino aka charles gasbag um sec gov embracing sorry embracing sec gov bracing for major exodus among senior enforcement lawyers in its crypto assets and cyber unit According to officials at major law firms who have seen several of the resumes, uh, so basically other places, law firms are saying, we're getting a ton of uh, resumes from SEC lawyers. Um, Fox Business is withholding names to protect the privacy. The moves suggest that the bleed of senior staff under Gary Gensler's controversial leadership of the agency isn't letting up. More at 345 with Liz Playman. <clears throat> so basically, guys, lawyers are jumping ship. They do not want to work for Gary Gensler anymore and the SEC. They're applying for jobs elsewhere, as it has been leaked. So now John Deaton touched on this. I remember about a little over a year ago. I remember him talking about it, and he said that Amongst lawyers, there was a, uh, a general consensus at the time that most lawyers did not want to accept jobs at the SEC under its current regime. Uh, for this very matter, I'll give you an example as to why. The, the debt box case. Now, guys, if you're subscribed to the channel, you know we've been following the debt box case where the SEC lawyers knowingly and intentionally lied to the court to uh, to acquire a restraining order on debt box uh and and freeze their assets and then it came out later that the sec was well aware the accusations they were making were false and they misled the court and in turn the judge was going to sanction the sec the sec decided to 
withdraw from the lawsuit, uh, drop the suit to try to avoid sanctions. And then representatives from the SEC then threw their own lawyers under the bus, blaming their lawyers uh, instead of taking accountability as an agency for the complete and utter destruction of the reputation of this government agency to the public. They are shady. They are criminals. They are. They have been breaking the law. They're lying in court to try to get their own way. And there has been no consequences for their actions. Congress needs to step in and there needs to be consequences, right? All of these lawsuits, guys, that they are filing, uh, that's, that's taxpayer money that they are just throwing around like it doesn't matter. And I'm sorry, but the SEC being financially sanctioned or fined by the courts or otherwise is just more taxpayer money that they're paying out. It's not coming out of Gary's pocket. It's coming out of your pocket as an American citizen. <laughs> so that's not a punishment, right? That's punishing you, the retail investor, the taxpayer, right? So something has to happen, but uh, lawyers are jumping ship at the SEC. I'm not surprised. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button for sure. Join the member side, guys. We have two tiers now. To support the channel. Uh, get microcap gem videos. You get one-on-one -on -one, uh, personalized help from me, video calls, stuff like that. Help you round out your portfolio. Um, and you get Sundays members-only live streams as well. So check that out, guys. And uh, yeah, join the Discord because that's free. And I'll see you guys in the next one.